What is up, guys? Welcome to my trailer breakdown for The Flash, Season 5, Episode 4, titled News Flash. So, without further ado, let's actually watch the trailer before breaking it down. You can't blame yourself for something future you might do. Mom, I don't understand how I could do something like that to her. Nora, you gotta snap out of this. What I have to do is kill you. The Flash on Tuesday at 8, 7 central on the CW. So despite this trailer being very short, it does give away basically everything that will happen in this episode. For the first uh, couple minutes, seconds, like the first 10 seconds of this 20 second trailer, you have everything about Iris West and what's happening in the future or what she did in the future. This is something that I was really wondering why they didn't show it in the first three episodes. The showrunner or the writers behind the show or maybe even the actors, I'm not exactly sure, said that Nora has some sort, of some sort of resentment towards Iris that is going to be explained in the season. In the first three episodes, you did see that she doesn't really want to spend time with Iris, but I just thought maybe they just wanted to, they just said that because Barry's just not around in the future, and that's the reason she came back in the past to spend time with him, so it would make sense. But I definitely also thought there was some sort of underlying resentment towards Iris that wasn't shown because that's what the showrunner or whoever said and it seems like in this episode we are finally going to find out what that is and based off this trailer it's probably something very severe we have Nora crying to when talking to Iris and telling her probably what she did in the future Iris wondering how she could do something like that and then Barry in the beginning of the trailer saying that Iris shouldn't punish herself for something that she might do in the future I think that what she did I don't have a clue maybe she left Nora maybe she was abusive to Nora or something like that but I think it was a result probably of Barry disappearing in the future in 2024 speaking of 2024 it's not too unsimilar to season 3's 2024 where Iris died and Barry became a, basically a different person very depressed for a really long time so he didn't really care about anything else something similar could happen with Iris here where Barry disappears and she becomes something exactly like that 2024 version of Barry, who actually doesn't exist anymore at this point because Iris didn't die. But uh, I don't know what she did, but I definitely think that's a result. What she did is a result of Barry disappearing in 2024. And if Nora does fix this, where Barry doesn't fi uh, disappear in 2024, then not only would obviously Barry become come back, Iris will probably not do that thing, whatever she will do in the future to Nora. So then for the second half of the trailer, we see Nora and Barry actually fighting. And uh, Barry says... Nora, you gotta snap out of this, and Nora says, uh, what I have to do is kill you. Now, it's pretty clear, though, just based off what Barry says, you gotta snap out of this. It's very, it's gonna be very similar to what happened in the first crossover, where Barry was whammied, as they kept on saying, by Rainbow Raider, and it made him very angry. It's not exactly the same thing, but what this is, is a character named Spin, a new villain in this episode, probably just a villain of the week, who in the comics has the ability to have, basically, your greatest fears manifest into reality where you actually see it in the comics it actually is it becomes reality i think and in the show it doesn't seem to be happening like that in the show it's more similar to scarecrow where your greatest fear is just shown to you it's basically an illusion and spin in the synopsis of this episode is seeming it, it says that she has some sort of fascination with excess Basically, she's taking advantage of the new hero in Star City, something like that, but that's really her power set. As of right now, the power set is not confirmed, but based off this episode, I think it is very likely. This version of the, the, the spin character is actually gender bent from the comics. In the comics, he's a guy, and here she's a girl, so it's possible that the, uh, the abilities aren't actually the same, and the power set isn't actually the same as it is in the comics, because... The gender isn't even the same, but I think that based off this trailer, it probably is. 11 seconds into this trailer, we see another shot of Barry's new costume from this season. Now, this is not exactly a new costume anymore. I mean, it's already been in three episodes, but I will say it has grown on me at this point. But I still do not think the cowl looks good. Thankfully, we, there will be a new cowl by the crossover because we did see in the poster that Stephen Miles wearing a new cow, you can tell by the fact that the lines or the lightning bolts on his forehead go all the way down to his eyes, which I don't know why they didn't do that in this cowl, but the big problem here is that the cowl just doesn't fit his head, it doesn't fit Barry's head or Grant Gustin's head, there's a lump to the side of his neck that just looks so weird and I really think they need to fix that really soon, hopefully by the crossover with the new cowl, 
they did. So the last thing to talk about in this trailer is the screens in this stadium that says excess kills flash and uh, really what I think this means is absolutely nothing. I don't think it means like they're in the future or something after a time where excess kills the flash or like the excess is the main villain of this season and this shot is or these screens are hinting towards that. I don't think that. What I do think is that Barry can't see the screen or he does and it doesn't say excess kills flash for him. I just think that it's just an extension of Spin's powers where she is whammied and that's a part of what she sees. Maybe she feels responsible for the death of the flash in 2024 and this is really grudging that up for her and I think that's probably what's going on here. Again, she's not actually fighting the flash here. I mean, she is, but she doesn't think she is most likely so i don't think this episode i mean this episode will obviously have a big effect on the relationship or the revelation of iris west and Nora allen but in terms of everything else going on and Nora fighting the flash it's most likely villain of the week scenario where spin who is the villain of this week because i don't think she will return after this episode also she probably won't be a very good villain i mean it's not too unsimilar to rainbow raider who all he did was whammy the flash and that he he didn't he wasn't a good villain but he served his purpose hopefully spin is exactly the same but that will lead obviously spin obviously corrupting Nora's mind and that will lead to the fl the flash versus excess fight and it all will be resolved at the end not too unsimilar to the crossover and that turned out to be a very good crossover episode so hopefully this fight scene between Nora and Barry turns out to be just as good or it probably won't be but hopefully it's a good fight scene and hopefully it gets resolved well so that is it for this trailer breakdown let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs>